rock carvings date back tens of thousands of years, but Aspenwell artist Carolyn Haas is putting a new spin on the ancient artwork in her exhibit called Petroglyphics, Stories from the Earth. And we are so excited because she's joining us now. So I have to ask you first, I had never heard Petroglyphics. What is that? It's a made up name that my <laughs> husband came up with. I mean, Petro is, I Petro is rocks <laughs> and the petroglyphs are, you know, what you find in cave paintings or carvings. And we just put a twist on it and called it petroglyphics because they are photos rather than carvings. So how did you come up with this idea? How did this, you actually see the images, mm -hmm. right? About three years ago, my dog and I started creek walking and I've been a rock collector all of my life. And so I was looking for some keepers. Yeah. And uh, I found a lot of keepers. I started seeing something in the rocks and, and I took them home and photographed them to see if I could take a closer look. And when I zoomed in, I realized that I was seeing what I thought I was seeing. There were images in it. A lot of eyes appeared and that's what attracted me first. And that opened up a whole new world to me and I've done over a hundred pieces now. So tell me about your pieces because are you painting on the rocks? You're, you're taking these images and then are you trying to extract more out of them? No, I don't paint on them. I photograph them and take them to a, a photo um, app and uh, just change the contrast on them. I'm making lighter what's light, making darker what's already dark. I am not adding anything to these images. It's uh, all there. We actually have a couple. So tell us about what we're seeing here in some of these images here. And you can even look behind and see. I called that one elephant dance because that's what it appears to me, that it's a dancing elephant. This is the before rock mm -hmm. and this is the after rock. And you can see there's really not a whole lot of difference between the two. So. It, it just seems like you're just opening your eyes to what's mm -hmm. there. It's, it's all around us and yeah. I think so much we take for granted. And it, it seems like you, you see this and you actually see something in it. Right. And this is, I find a lot of elephants for some reason. Yeah. I call this sorrowing because it looks like a crying elephant to me. But again, this is another one. I didn't have to do much to change the image, to mm -hmm. bring out the artwork. Some of them I have to work on for a week to, to bring out what I'm seeing. And you actually brought something with you. Are you able to show us sure. what's on? And your exhibit has more of these, is that right? What you brought here with you? The uh, exhibit in Penn State is currently over. I just took it down. I have that right side up. More elephants. <laughs> but I love it. So tell us what this one is called. I call this emergence because it looks like elephants are coming out of the jungle or coming out of the, the greenery. And there was even a little, um, flower-like lotus at the bottom of it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And, and you, you brought another one as well, I did. right? And I think it's another elephant. I, I, do, <laughs> I do have a lot that... Do you feel some connection to elephants? I do Is now. It? I certainly do. do now. I love I all they, animals, but... Yeah, I know they can be extremely meaningful too. Yeah. So tell us what this one is entitled. This is called um, Moonlight. Looks like an elephant walking in moonlight. Yeah, you can see it here with the eyes. This is beautiful. So what are your plans? You said you just took some of your artwork down and, and what are your plans next? There's another show currently going on in Florida at um, Gillespie Museum at Stetson University in Deland, Florida. And um, I will just continue to exhibit yeah. uh, if I'm approached and um, sell my artwork if anyone is interested in buying it. But my main goal was to show it to the public. That's I think there's something incredible going on here and I want everybody to see this. I think our world's a lot more magical than we give it credit for. I think you're absolutely yeah. right. Just, well, hopefully you have opened people's eyes to take a breath and just look around us and find the beauty. Thank, right. thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. And for me. sharing some of your beautiful artwork. Thank you. Well, still to come on Talk Pittsburgh, local tattoo artists are coming together to support survivors of sexual assault. How the tattoo process helps empower those looking to reclaim agency of their body.